Hi, it's Cathy Reed at Cathy Reed Art. I'm here with my exhibition Art on the Fence. I'll show you around the studio and then I'll show the work on the fence. This is my Art on the Fence exhibition and I'm going to take you for a little tour. So here we are. First painting is called London Icons. And you might be able to see if I can get the light right. That painting has got some gold foil on it. So there's the underground sign. And that's the actual view. I haven't changed the view at all. That is what you see if you're at the right angle. So the next one is a Manchester painting. So this is the Portico Library. You can see it's written in words up there. So I'll take you a nice little tour around that one. Yeah, I've got 35 paintings to go through, so I'll try not to spend too long on each one for this. I might add some in later. So this is a toast rack in Manchester. Again, another Manchester painting. This is a series of three here. This one is called Mozzie Grey, and I've blogged about this. And I've also noticed that there's a little cat there that I hadn't realised before, and I'm quite happy with that little cat. I think that little cat's quite cute, even though it wasn't intentional. This one is RA railings, which I think I've put on video before. So a little closer look at that one. We talked about this with Saturday Night Live art shows. And then this is Admiralty Arch. Again, getting close. Good look. Next one is called Print Works. This is the Manchester one. We'll come out on that at the end. Apologies for the background. I am right by a bypass, so lots of traffic and lots of noisy motorbikes. So that's Print Works. And next to that, we've got Castle Field Basin, which is in the centre of Manchester and is actually fairly close to where Mozzie Gray was. If you look in here, you see it's the uh, Manchester University, Manchester Museum of Science and Industry. And a few canal boats there. And then next we have Millennium Bridge Life. And this is one I had fun with the sky on this one. It originally came out really dark purple, but uh, thanks to some judicious use of white and a little bit more experimenting came out rather nicely and I've got St Paul's there and some people on the on the bridge I had fun with these people there's lots of people if you're looking really close there's a few more over there now next we've got a Fleet Street and that's a Daily Express um, if you've seen my work before I've got a bit of an obsession with the Daily Express building having gone past it on the way to school every single day not this one the one in Manchester which I think is actually far more interesting. But I like this one, it's nice. And then we've got another St Paul's one. I'm just going to pause a minute because we've got somebody coming past. So there we go, that's St Paul's. Now the car's gone, I can talk better. So a closer look. This one was actually done after we'd been out for a meal and it had been raining really hard when we arrived so hard it was like rolling down the steps in the underground that's how bad it was and when we came out for the meal this is what we saw and it was beautiful i decided to keep the moving cars in there to get that feeling of urgency you get when traffic's going past now next i've got natural history graffiti the graffiti really comes from the uh, these bits at the top which i think look like graffiti tags so that's why I called it that. I just love this building it's the Natural History Museum and it's just so ornate. I've actually cut out quite a lot there. It's far more in your face when you look at it up close. Next we've got London Eye. Again a segment from there. I'm going to go in close on this one really close so you can really see some of those blooms. I had a question earlier about um, when I was doing the Zoom call about the tendrils, which are blown ink. Um, we really just put them in there because I like to think of them as the energy in buildings and how they come comes alive. 
next we've got Fortnum and Mason. Now this one's quite interesting because you've got the clock there and you've got the sculpture there which is by Lynn Chadwick and that has been on this was on display there for a while in 2006 when I took the reference photograph for this. But I like the fact that uh, the clock and the sculpture are actually only a few years difference in age even though they look wildly different. Next we go on to Marylebone Station. If you came to the um, Take a Trip to Marylebone exhibition, you'll have seen this one before. And here we have another Marylebone station. This is actually a lot earlier painting. I was aiming for a more abstract feel with that one. And then Goodnight Thames. I've yet to do a sky that I've been as pleased with as this one. Sometimes things just work and you want to repeat them and you can try all you like but they never quite get the same effect. But I'll keep trying. This one's bus queue and you've got the gherkin just in the background there and a line of buses and some trees and look at that sky because I like that sky. And then we have this one is called In the Structure of an Idea and if you can't guess it's actually inside the gherkin so if you go in the main entrance and look up you'll see this sort of arrangement and I just thought it was a fascinating combination of shapes and then we have Flight Over the Thames which is the cable car ride over the River Thames at Greenwich Sky and this one worked really well. You can see there how those blooms have just taken over. It's a lovely example of how salt, when left to its own devices, makes such a difference. Then we've got the knowledge. This was called the knowledge because it's actually Manchester Museum and the black cab in the front. And I couldn't help thinking about the, the knowledge that they have to do the London cabs. I'm pretty sure they probably do it in other areas as well, so the knowledge seemed appropriate for the taxi and the knowledge from the museum. I'm close into that one. I'm going to try and speed up a bit because it's already got quite a few more to go. So we've got the um, British Museum, the roof of the British Museum. Again, going close on that one. I love this roof. I could paint it quite frequently. I think this is probably about the fifth painting I did of it. Then we've got ancient signs, which again, it's really down to these signs. So you've got like the um, the anchor there, and all the signs all over the place. And I just love the way that the, the um, walkie-talkie seems to be leaning over and saying, "Hi, I'm here." Now we've got, oh, well, this, one, this one is Battersea Reborn. This is one of the ones that um, got me into the Society of Women Artists. I just love Battersea Power Station. And you see those cranes as well. I'm really pleased with how the cranes came out. So I've only got three chimneys there. The third one, the fourth one, was just there, and it's sort of half, half the chimney because they were dismantling them to rebuild them. We're getting there. Now this is Warwick Mill. This is um, from my hometown Middleton and it's sadly neglected at the moment but I love these old mills and I think we should be trying to preserve them as much as possible because they're part of our history and they are fabulous buildings. And there's another from my hometown Middleton. This is um, St Leonard's Church in the centre of Middleton which is known for its wooden tower. And you're standing at the gates waiting to come in. And that's the title of the piece, Standing at the Gates. Then we've got Misty Wheel. Now this was taken from a snapshot I took on a trip to London. Really grey day. Which is why we've got all the misty clouds behind. That sky didn't quite work as well as I'd hoped the brown bled out. So I had to experiment and I think it turned out 
as well in the end. I love it. I also happen to love, I've got to show you a frame on this one because this frame is actually, looks like it's iron. It's not, it's wood. And it's just wonderful. So I, I'm happy to keep this painting as long as possible just for the frame. Then we've got another gherkin one taken from the same shoot as the inner structure of the I of an idea. This is just called Gherkin Abstract. And this one's unusual because this one's on canvas. I don't tend to work on canvas very much. It's using watercolour ground. I think the, the results are... I, I'm pleased with them. They just look slightly different and I think the paper has an edge in terms of how well they come out. This is another one that's not on my usual. This is watercolour ground on hardboard. And the problems I was having with that one were this area here where it was all going flat. So that's why these are unusual little marks here. But on the whole, I'm really pleased with how that one came out. So this is Barbican Conservatory. So we've got a few flowers there as well. Next we have Tower Bridge Poppies. And again, I'm going close. This is another canvas one. I've done a couple on canvas and a couple on board, but most of them are on watercolour paper. I feel I'm droning now, so I'm going to try and brighten my voice up a bit. So here we are, this is Sloan Square at night, and I just love the reflections. Really wet day, just been to the Affordable Art Fair at Battersea waiting for, oh no, we just got off the bus and took some photographs because I loved the light and everything that was going on. It was just wonderful and I love the, I'm really pleased with how this bollard's come out and the, uh, the blue highlights have really set that up quite nicely. Right, my arm's getting tired so I'm just going to change hands. That looks a bit strange. So this one, this one has now sold. This is London Map. Uh, this is based on a photograph and a photograph I took of a map in the Victorian Album Museum. I've left out all the names because that just would have been too much. It took a while to get that in place. Well, I'm really pleased with it. And what I am particularly... Uh, I don't understand what these lines were. I think they were folds in the map, but... It, they existed within the structure, so whether they were maps that stitched together or that was the style of the map, I don't know. It just looked a bit strange, but that's the London map. And uh, we're nearly done. Here we are. This is the Daily Express building in Manchester. Uh, that's the one I used to go past on the bus and sit there and look at it and watch all the printing presses turning away in the background. It was always the highlight of my day when something was going on there. I loved it when the bus got stuck at the traffic lights. That, meant, that also meant I didn't have to go to school until later. Another Manchester one. This is the cooperative co-op tower, which is why it's called Cooperative Achievement. And there's quite a bit going on here in terms of iridescence. So I'll see if I can try and get that light on there. It's a bit difficult at the moment because the light's in the wrong way. So there is cooperative achievement. And finally, nice and bright red, we've got poppies. This is National Memorial. And it was I was going through a phase of loving brollies and went to see the exhibition at the tower, installation at the tower I should say. Um, I can't remember the title of it, but it was a, a fascinating thing. I'll put it in the comments at the bottom. But there was all these people queuing up to, to go in. And then there was this lady coming along with this wonderful brolly who lifted it, up, lifted it up just at the right moment. And I'm just so pleased I was ready to capture that. So I think that just just gives it the edge. So I'll get closer and have a proper look at that. I had a lot of fun with the people on this one, especially coats. These, all these lovely coats going on, sort of check coats and spotty coats and patterns and puffer jackets. And that was lots of fun to do that one. So those are the paintings I've got outside. I am going to just do a little pan along there. So that's where we've come from. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to do another little one inside.
Um, so this is Kathy Reed at Kathy Reed Art for Art on the Fence. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more of my art, check out my website. Bye.